I, I wanted to share a little reading from a book of mine, um, since there's no libraries open and uh, I'm sure chapters isn't open, I don't know. But anyway, we're all at home self-isolating and uh, in case any of you are missing Copper, there he is back there laying on the floor doing his thing. Um, I thought I would share a little reading about the new moon from this book that I really like. It's called Lunar Abundance. Sorry, everything's backwards. I can't um, ever tell which direction's up. Um, so I'm just going to give you a short little reading as you prepare for your own um, new moon ceremony or setting of intentions. Um, it's just kind of a nice little share for you. <clears throat> the moon cycle starts in proverbial darkness as the moon moves between the earth and the sun, blocking the sun's rays from our view. This darkness is the reference point from which we begin our journey through the moon phases. Why? Well, when you are in darkness, stripped of visual cues, you are steered towards the well of wisdom that lies within. Steering within in this way is how we access the rich symbolic soil of the first lunar phase. Our souls are longing for this reconnection with the natural rhythms of our world. When we are away from all the physical comforts of the city, allowing us to reconnect with the earth, we become able to feel how good that reconnection can be. And I think this is something that we all should be really doing our best to try to create is that reconnection with Earth um, and with the cycles of Earth, the moon being one of them. We often avoid the dark because it is uncomfortable and unknown, yet it is in the darkness that we can start to uncover our hidden riches. So hopefully that is as um, significant to you as it is to me. I just really um, like reading things of that nature. And uh, I hope you have a happy new moon intention setting. And perhaps we'll see you at practice in our virtual Zoom classes. <laughs>